Hello, this is Ardly Worth Watching, and I'm back with the final episode of our bridge building series. And I'm going to be showing you how to build this epic arch bridge, which can also be known as a viaduct. So, with this one, you want to be building over quite a long area to actually give the best effect. And uh, we well don't want to make it too wide, but it does want to be quite wide and have a fair amount of space on the top. And. Uh, Apart from that, there's not really much else to say about it, so uh, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the very first thing I did was I looked at my area and I put two rows of cobblestone going all the way across the area where the bridge is actually going to span. And this is probably the most important thing with this tutorial, or with any building, really, is to get the proportions right and just map it out the rough sort of shape and dimensions of it before you start because if you're something you don't like now it's very easy to change it now rather than realizing you've made a mistake halfway through so make sure you really do concentrate on getting this bit right so the next thing I wanted to do is actually work out how wide all the arches were going to be so I counted the number of blocks used the calculator and divided it by how wide I wanted each arch and then I used that number to sort of work out how many arches I needed and I mapped it out with the wall and I realised it didn't quite meet up so I changed the middle ones to make them a little bit wider to sort of make up for that because they weren't exactly right but you should do the calculations first as it does help you to actually get it right as well so when I had actually mapped out the template and the structure and got it right I actually got on with putting the arches in themselves so they want to be around 20 blocks high but I don't really know the exact measurements, I think mine are about 17 but this tutorial isn't supposed to be an exact step by step guide it's just be a rough idea so you can go about designing your own bridges and or adding your own touch to it so it's not really an exact thing you want to copy but around 20 blocks high because it gives it a sort of good sense of scale and makes it look pretty big and obviously you can change the size of the arches, they don't need to be long and thin like this, they could be quite wide, they could be anything you want really, as long as you make them all roughly the same and so they're all fairly even, apart from the ones in the middle on mine, because I've changed them a bit to make sure they all actually fit in properly, but they are all reasonably sort of the same size and the same width really, they're slightly different just so it actually fits in. So once you've done that, on the other side you can have to go ahead and do exactly the same thing and it does need to be exactly the same as you will be joining these together to create the arches. As the arches on this bridge aren't two separate sets of arches but they're actually uh, all whole solid arches going all the way through the bridge so you do need to make sure that they are the same. So once you've done the arches on both sides you can then actually begin connecting them up to, to make a nice solid arch shape which is what you want so you want the same shape all the way through going all the way from the front to the back and uh, make sure if it, there is any ground in the way like dirt or anything to actually or anything that would be visible you need to make sure that it is still visible but if it's going behind ground you don't actually need to put it in if you want actually be able to see it anyway so uh, it does take quite a lot of patience and can take a while but it is actually worth it in the end and also if any of the arches don't line up then it is quite easy just to change them if you need to as well. So now you want to be actually putting in the main structure of it now. Oh I made a bit of a mistake there, silly me. So I'm um, just filling it all in with stone bricks and I did quite like how the andesite, no, no polished diorite and the stone bricks went together because it does stand out quite well against it. So then I actually began to add a bit more detail, so I've just put some bedrock sort of indented into it with iron bars over the top and uh, I also put a bit more detail in the middle in a similar sort of design so really all you do is just keep looking at it and just seeing what you can change to make it look more interesting. I find it more easier to add detail near the end rather than thinking about everything at once because it breaks it down and splits it down into steps which does make it a bit easier. So the detail I've added really is quite simple but it is really effective so I just keep putting stuff in and looking at it and just keep adding on what I've done really and just improving the look. So I also added some red clay as well because I thought it did look a bit grey and plain so I added that bit more colour and I also did something a bit fancy with the water which kind of looked quite cool as well. 
so once I had actually added all the detail I moved on to the top so uh, I put basically just a path and I just did something quite simple I think I did stone slabs up each side and then I just filled the middle of it with cobblestone I just did something really simple really just for the purpose of this tutorial but you can do anything on the top really you could make a railway or a road or anything really it doesn't really need to follow any sort of set rules it can be absolutely anything so uh, why I haven't done this other side is because I've shown you one side so you don't need to know the other side because it is exactly the same so uh, that is this bridge done it really is that easy it's just a bit repetitive really it's not hard just repetitive so I hope you've enjoyed this whole bridge building series and I hope you found it helpful and in the next video I'm not actually sure what we're going to be doing so you'll just have to wait and see